it something like a hymn. My wrist on gold just like a hymn. Live life bad just like a hymn. Yo, what up, what up, YouTube fam, FLA, hand me back at you, bro. Just, uh, I'm gonna do a quick little video. This is more of a, kind of a how-to video, in case, uh, if you guys don't know. Um, I've had my car for a little over two years now. I had free oil changes for two years, so I never really had to do my own oil change. So I'm gonna do that now, and, um, about to go to full synthetic because when you get the free oil changes at the dealership they don't give you full synthetic they use that uh synthetic blend or whatever it is and you know since it was free i had it for two years that's what i was using but i'm about to switch over to full synthetic right now and um this is gonna be my first time doing the oil change probably in five years man so hopefully i still remember how to do it you know it's like riding a bike i guess it's Pretty damn simple. I'm gonna show you everything you need to know if you've never did it yourself. Um, if you're switching to full synthetic, you could probably save a couple dollars too doing it yourself. So, uh, you know, especially now with all this quarantine stuff going on, I figured might as well just do it myself at the house, give me something to do. So, yeah, I'm gonna show you uh, how I do my old changes. You know, my last car, I had a 15 uh, V6 charger, same thing, I had the oil change package, so I never had to pay for an oil change for like the two years I had that car, and then I traded it in and got this car, so I haven't had to do an oil change in forever, but uh, I'm going to give it a shot, I'm going to show you what I'm about to use and everything you need to know. I'll let you boy. Alright, obviously you need your drip pans, you ain't going to have your oil all over your floor, Got that check. Then, uh, you know, they recommend using a Mopar filter. I'm sure other filters work just fine, but I went ahead and ordered this from Amazon. Um, just got to be careful because from what I've seen, there's been a couple different part numbers that actually fit these cars. So, you know, I crawled under there, and this is the same exact one the dealership uses. Um, I've seen a different part number that the filter is actually a little bit smaller. But it fits up in there, you know, it, it fits, it works, they use it, but um, the filter's a little bit smaller, and, you know, from what I heard, you want, like, the biggest filter you, you want for high-power Hemi's, you know, more flow, uh, more oil flow, so uh, this is the exact same one you, dealership uses, that's the exact same one I ordered, um, you find it on Amazon, it was, uh, like, nine ninety nine, something like that. And then, um, going with Mobile One, order this from Costco like a dummy. It was like $28 for six quarts. Um, these cars take seven quarts. And what I usually use on all my vehicles, once I hit like 70,000, 75,000, once you get high mileage, I substitute one quart for uh, this oil stabilizer. This says they recommend using 20%, so five quarts would be one quart. So, you know, 20% of seven quarts would be a little bit over a quart, but, you know, it, it's not going to make that much of a difference, man. I'm just going to put six quarts and then one quart of this. should be straight, but like I said, I've been using this on all my vehicles once it gets high mileage and never had no problems. And, you know, it, right here it says, uh, you know, blends with all oil, blends with automatic, you see, synthetic oil, everything, so... No fear. It's not going to mess nothing up. That's about it, man. Let me crawl up under there, show you the next step, and uh, get this out of the way. All right, you know, I'm going to show you step by step, man, so you don't miss out on nothing. And you know exactly what to do if you never did this. You know, it's pretty simple. Um, there's a 10 millimeter socket. Got to take these uh, out. As you see, you got to remove this panel for service. I'll do that, and then show you where the old filter is, and knock this out don't take long at all and as you see i took the cover off that's your old filter right there and this is your old pan and this is uh 
13 millimeter socket. So you go put your little oil pan down here, loosen this out, boom, drain the oil. Let it all drain out. When it drains out, you go remove the oil filter. Let it all drain out. And then you basically reverse the steps, man. Put the oil filter back on. I'm gonna show you a little trick on that. Um, put the little plug back in, and then fill it back up with oil. That's it, simple, man. Let me get this over with, and then I'll show you once I get the oil drained out. Well, as you see, I already got the oil drained. Made a big mess like usual, but uh, yeah. Um, when it comes to the oil filter, man, when they put the new one on, when you go get an oil change, it's supposed to be on there just hand tight. Um, once it makes contact with the seal, you're supposed to do like one full turn around. Usually there's like a little arrow on the filter that tells you when you went all the way around. But uh, obviously they don't tighten it more than hand tight. So you might need one of these little clamps. They sell different styles and stuff, you know, oil filter clamp to get it off. So I'm about to get that off and then put the new oil filter back on. And that's it, folks. As you see, the same part number. I don't know why the color's different. One's gold, one's silver, but looks like the same exact filter. About it, man. You gotta clean it up under there, you know. There's like a little drip right there. You want to clean everything up. So you clean everything up. And then another thing they say, it even tells you to do it right here on the can, you see? Right there, it tells you everything. One turn. So once you clean everything up up there, you're supposed to put like a little bead of oil right here. So that way the filter comes off easy next time. That's about it. So I'm going to clean it up, put my little bead on, put the oil filter back on, put the plug in, and put the oil back in. That's it. Simple. I'll be back in a minute with the finished product. Done. about it, folks. All that's left is uh, add the oil. You know, check your oil level. That's it. Might as well uh, clean your old cash can while you had it. That's about it, man. We'll put the oil on and crank it up. And that's how you do an oil change, man. First time on that channel, hit that subscribe, like, comment. Got any questions, hit me up. You already know. I'll let your boy. Filet Hemi, over and out.